channel and in today's video um I'm, what i'm gonna go ahead and do is one of the looks that i had done on one of my photo shoots and i had posted a couple um videos on snapchat and then some of you wanted me to recreate that look so i'm gonna go ahead and try to recreate that look because it kind of sort of not really but i kind of forgot what colors i used i know that i used browns but i forgot which one i dipped into because i was just like in a rush in a way because i was working that day and then after work i had to quickly get everything done as you guys can tell i already went ahead and started on my eyebrows so my eyebrows are done because i wanted this video to be kind of um, just centered and focused on the eyes um and then maybe in another one i'll do like the whole face i like how i contour and do all of that stuff but for now we're just gonna go ahead and focus on the eyes and as always i'm gonna go ahead and do uh prime my eyes with this one it's the concealer so it's the la girl pro concealer i'm gonna go ahead and just apply that on our eyelids Next, uh, we're gonna go ahead and set them with the with the Too Faced a setting powder, um, and I'm just gonna grab it with one of the little sponges here. And we're just gonna go ahead and apply that on the eyelids to set them. That we have our eyes set. Oh, it's in my hair. That's concealer. But anyways, now that we have our eye lids already set we're gonna go ahead and go in with the living in color palette here and i'm gonna go ahead oh, and i'm just gonna go in with it doesn't doesn't have any name so we're just gonna go ahead and go in with this one right here in the corner i am taking the wet and wild brush here so it's just a blending brush from wet and wild and we're just gonna go ahead and dip into our palette here and i'm gonna start right here and i'm just gonna pat that on there so we have that going on right there and we're gonna pat this in this side right here we're just gonna go ahead and do the windshield um wiper effect here and just go back and forth trying to blend all of that out so now that we have our um eyeshadow as dark as we can get it um next we're gonna go ahead and go in with the other shade that was right above it so i can get it here we're gonna go in with um so we took this shade first and so now we're gonna take this one up here and we're gonna apply that one up to our crease to darken it up just a bit more. And for that one, I'm just gonna go ahead and take this brush right here, and it's uh, from Walmart, and I'm gonna use this side right here, and it's just the blending brush. And we're just gonna go ahead and dip into that one and apply it to our crease. Okay, so this is what it ends up looking like. I don't know if you guys can see that but <laughs> I know that my camera like I have to literally get close to it so you guys can see it but um that is what it looks like we're gonna go ahead and go in with this shade down here so first we went in with this one this one and then now we're going to go in with this one right here and I'm gonna go ahead and go in with this that flat brush right here and that's what it looks like and we're just gonna go ahead and apply that one and i always add um setting spray just to intensify the color and we're gonna go ahead and apply that as if we were gonna cut the crease but it's gonna look a little bit more softer since we're not cutting it with concealer so now we have that done right there um next we're gonna go ahead and go in with the shade brush right here so I'm getting, this one also came. Oh my god, I can't stop. This one also came in the boxy charm right here, and we are gonna go ahead and go in with the first color that we went in with, which was the orange color in the corner here, and we are going to try and blend in 
that other color that we had on there. But next we're gonna go ahead and go in with our Annette Six Sign palette and we're gonna go ahead and go in with um, the 951. So we're gonna go ahead and go in with this one. And what you wanna do here is not add too much, but enough to where it kind of shows, but then it doesn't, if that makes any sense. So you just wanna grab a little bit and then blend it in as you go. That's what it ends up looking like. I don't know if you guys can see that, but that's what it ends up looking like. So I'm gonna go ahead and go with the LA colors right here. And I'm just gonna draw a wing to make that color pop up even more. So I finished doing my wing liner. What we're gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna go and do my full face off camera and I'll be right back. So I am back and this is the completed look here. So that is all finished. So y'all let me know what y'all think about it. Go ahead and comment that down below if you guys liked it or not. I tried to do a little bit more. Um, this is a little bit more on the dramatic side, a little bit more glam like than my other videos my other videos do have a little bit more of a simple look to it and if you guys want more looks like this go ahead and comment that down below and i'll go ahead and try to think of more looks that look similar to this more of a glam look um than rather than like an everyday look um but yeah so thank you for watching go ahead and click the thumbs up and uh, hit the bell button like <laughs> oh lord okay go ahead and um like comment and subscribe and make sure you guys hit the bell button to get notified every single time i upload so you guys don't miss a video so i'll see you guys in my next one